then you have to put the uh, the bots in place, so to say. Right. This is probably better, man, because on the uh, over there, I, it's it's not comfortable. I mean, you know, I'm at a desk. Right, 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 right. right. So um, the questions I had, and, and, and definitely what I want to get going um, in this community is basically. Uh, pulling together, I want to call it the Avengers and people that are like yourself, you know, Red Wolf, people like that. Um, I can name a whole list, you know, I can go through that right now. But I want us to have like a, similar to what you're doing, like a uh, council uh, we could get together and just discuss things and put things together and events and blah, 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 and discuss what we need to improve, you know, the new ideas and, um, you know, well, I, I mean, I mean, look. Okay, so so what do you what do you have planned? What do you have planned? What do you have with that idea? What do you want to see it? What do you want to see happen? So number one, we got to have our own media. We got to have our own indigenous media, um, and that's very important because we can't have anybody else tell us stories. You can't have these, you know, right. she right. can't have these other people because they do too much wishy washy stuff. You know, they'll right. talk about you know freedmen. They'll talk about what well, Indians had you in slavery, but and the reason why I'm saying it is they're not telling the correct story, as you would know. And uh, they, uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's their job, right? All these people that try to seem like they not whatever, that's their job to keep us confused. The whole Ice Cube thing, that's to keep us confused. All this shit that they putting out is to keep you confused. What the fuck do we look like going to beg somebody to fucking help us? Fuck them. You ain't never fucking helped us. And you just keep trying to climb in their fucking pockets. Fuck them. That that's that's why we're not fucking blessed. Cause we we won't do for ourselves. We would rather send, we would rather feed and send immigrant children to school rather than give a fuck about our own. Right or wrong. Right. When a nigga open his mouth to, and anybody, I don't want to hear that bullshit. We're playing. Fuck the electricity. We better start pulling these molecules and all this shit yeah. that's in the atmosphere that we have around us. We better stop fucking around and start recognizing. Right. See, we be playing. Dude, do you know what will fucking happen to us when we snap out to this fucking body and motherfucker say, nigga, what the fuck you doing? Right. You better have a good answer. Right. And it better not be no bullshit. Right. We are fucking, and you know, and you see it, you see it. Right. Because it's, it's like, you know, I was listening to the guy I mentioned before. It's like, well, you know, I want to talk about the Aboriginal thing. You know, you talked about the term Aboriginal versus Indigenous, and I get it. You know, you, you can read the definition, explain, and explain. Right. It. I mean, and why do we got? Why do we have to make this so hard? Right. What? What? Is, I'm, I'm just going by what they say. Right. This is what they words say. This is what they mean. I'm being man. I'm being simpler than you can wipe your ass. Right. This is what it says. We fight and want to argue with what what these motherfuckers say about themselves. It's like the sister told me last night. She said that motherfucking that definition of American. She said what fucked me up on it. She said apply to you niggas, but now apply to us. What you gonna do about it? Right. So all that arguing and back and forth for who got on blue. Air Jordans, who got on pink? Ah, dude, what's up? Right. And these niggas, man, they ain't they not they ain't with it. They don't they don't they don't work together. They don't. I mean, they and and they'll do that stuff to not to work together. Right. It's it's hard, man. It's it's hard to get brothers to just. What did this sister tell me? She said it, we we get we argue argue over anything. It ain't gotta be. It don't have to. It don't have to do. Have to do. It don't have to do with nothing we talking about. Somehow an argument just break out. Right. It, and because and we figured it out, because motherfuckers don't want to do nothing, man. And they they're comfortable in the position yeah. they're in. I say let them be. Right. I, I say let them be. Because you know what I mean. I mean, damn. 
I, I it's in brothers won't even look me in the eye no more, man. These niggas are ashamed. Wow. These niggas are ashamed, dude. They sorry motherfuckers, all of them. All these motherfuckers that's in Democrats, Republican, in another man. Dude, come on. You can't take care of yourself. And you the first man? You the first man with the black man? And you can't fucking feed yourself? Nigga, you look dumb. Sit the fuck down and shut up. And come up with another plan. And the other plan is get get out of everybody's pockets. Right. Stop letting everybody ride you like a fucking horse. Damn. I mean, serious. Right. I mean, do, I mean, do, do you, you you not see it? It's plain. It's plain. It's plain. It's plain. It's plain. It's like... like the Kamala Harris thing. Dude, we're not embarrassed by that? Right. <laughs> Right. All these Greek motherfuckers should be hiding their head in the fucking hole somewhere, in the right. in the dirt somewhere. Right? Are you serious, nigga? And we don't even want to talk. We we'll 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 shun that to make sure we don't see it and say, okay, we can't let that happen again. Right? We'll shun that. We'll. To, so we, huh? This is what we do. What that nigga spend all that money to get them niggas to pay for their college education for? That's what he paid for? Right. Dude, could you give me a tenth of that? I have an idea that we can we can do some stuff with. Right. What 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 has those colleges? Seriously, dude. What have those colleges really seriously done? For the people who've been educated into those schools, what have they went out and done? to make it better for the people around it. Right. Taught you to be uh, slaves, taught you to be good coons, taught you to be uh, anything that the, or your so-called enemy wants you to do, you follow. <laughs> That's what it is. Train to train a dog. Okay, can I, can I ask you a question? Say, okay, say you're, uh, you're a principal at one of these universities. And I come to you and I say, principal, I have an idea on modular housing. Housing that we can break it down and if a person is pushing a basket, they can push it on top of a basket. Right. The houses are thousand dollars or less. We can make it with the natural materials in the forest down here in the South. And these motherfuckers biodegradable. Right. Which means that if they get left somewhere, they'll just break down and break down into the earth. Right. Ooh. Why don't we work on some housing for our people in the cities who are being gentrified? Why don't we build little villages down here in the south somewhere and come up? Right. Them niggas ain't got to that. Them, them, them niggas don't talk about shit like that. They don't, they don't, they, they're not talking about doing no ideas. They're not talking about taking the natural resources they have and building something. These niggas want to suck this white boy's dick. Right. Period. Right. And that, 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 I don't think that's the way we should go. Yeah, they need the uh, head rub from a uh, white Jewish daddy, a white Gentile daddy, a white daddy, <laughs> whatever people want to say. It's, 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 and like you said, you know, they got all this education, they got all this knowledge, but when it's time to do for self and think for self and actually do for your own in business community, you know, they get scared, they don't want to do it. And, uh, and it's, I think a lot of it too is they got theirs. You know, fuck everybody else. I, I got mine. I got my million dollars. I got my big house. I got my cars, the white picket fence, the dog. Fuck everybody else. Um, so this is how that turns out. So remember, you're you're not a person. You're not a person. That's a that's some other shit somebody even told you you were. You are a soul. You you are what Okay, okay. 
I, I, th this is the best way I'll explain it. You ever look up in space, and when you see the and when you see the stars and the planets and all the nebula and everything flying around in space, you always see this white, like a white cloud in it all. Right. That's what you are. Right. Seriously, when you, when, when you break it, this shit down. That's what you are. That's 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 the simplest way I can say it. Right. It may it may it may be something else, but we're something that we can kind of get on the same page about. That's what I'll say. Right. You're not in this. You're gonna. You're not gonna be in this form forever. But while you're here, what the fuck you gonna do? Right. What you gonna do? And we're not. We just think we're gonna be here forever, and no, uh, we, we we're helping build something. And you know, I, that 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 way, you know, looking at it for a long time, forty years, fifty years, it's enough time to say, you know, let's move on, let's get the fuck out of here, let's do something else. Right. You know, and and you know, like the idea I just gave with the houses, modular housing. I mean, they can be three, four bedroom housing. We can't get together and make some affordable housing. Right. This is where we are, and when you and when you go online and you listen to what people are talking about this gossip shit and all this, I mean, shit don't have nothing to do with nothing. All those are distractions, right? We're 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 supposed to be into this. We're supposed to be on into this shit like our lives depended on it, and you know it, right? So, with that being said, when we look at these European politics or the European political system, do you think we should give it any attention or we should just build our own and go about it like that? What's your take on that? Uh, I don't build the indigenous people's party or American or the true American party, whatever party, whoever, whatever the name, whatever the name comes out with, let it know that it's us trying to say that we're descendants of slaves. Motherfucker, everybody wasn't no slave. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so that lets you know you confused. Right. Damn. Uh, and get behind that party and win everything. Right. Stop calling yourself things because you will begin to vibrate towards that. Right. I mean, we've had all at Francis Press Welsing taught us that. If you call yourself, you will start acting like this. Right. You'll start I mean this this is simple shit. Right. <laughs> we we act like we don't hear what we don't act we act like we hear what's we we act like we that don't matter. Right. So what? I can do what I want to do, nigga. You don't tell me what to do. I'm me. That's how we are. Right. I, man, I see it every day. And it's not that um, that feels sorry for you and all that. Brother, we've all had it bad. Right. How bad you had it depends on how bad you gave it. Because, like I said, that little cloud that's swirling around after 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 that leaves you, it might go to another person across the street or on the other side of the world. I don't know. You're not you're not a thing. You're not a boot that you put in the corner and just sit there in the corner. That's how people. That's what these words that we use against ourselves that gives that impression, and that's what we start to act like. Right. So a political party, I think that would be the, that'd be a, the, uh, a sledgehammer. Right. Everybody's behind. I mean, you know, you want to be, a, you, you gonna see all them Negroes coming from the Democrat and Republic side. Keep your motherfucking ass where you at. Right. And start building your shit. And, and, it, and it's gonna work. Cause you gonna make it work. Right. The only way it won't work, I don't know now. I don't, I don't know. That's the only way it won't. Man, you know how we do. You know how we do. You yeah, because the, 
Yeah, because huh? the new term, the new term they're talking about now in in this, I don't, I don't know what you call them, but I still call them Afrocentric people. They're talking about the foundational uh, Black Americans, and I, I, I disagree Dude. with that. Dude, I mean, God, you see what I'm saying? Man? See, see, they hear us. Right. They hear us. Right. These motherfuckers hear, and the shit makes sense. They're like, God damn. Right. Out of every fucking thing I done heard, they done told me this shit makes most sense. But the training they got, they can't. So, you know, when you go to school, you know, you see the people who go to school. My son is on the principal road at Roosevelt Elementary School. You've seen those, right? Right. right. Real, real, real tag. So that person doesn't want, he, he can't be, what did he learn? What did, if I, if I, if I accept this, what does it mean? that all of I learned. It means all that you learned was bullshit. We need to go another way. That's all it means. Right. <laughs> That's all it means. Right. Say you're indigenous, find out where your people were from. Find, because it, it's probably, that land is probably untouched. Your parents were probably fucking a million times smarter than your dumb ass. Right. And they probably left you a motherfucking fortune and your dumb ass don't even know it. You foundational. What what does that mean? <laughs> That's the so so now what does that mean? Right. See you see making it harder, making it more confusing. Right. Dude, come on. And, and, and you know they, and then you know they try to sound so smart oh I'm so intellectual but really they're dumb asses right they're dumb ass. I mean come I know why are you gonna go I'm a dumb ass dude you're being one you're actually acting it out I'm just calling it how I see it and right. you mad at me but you're doing it huh right that's where we are. Yeah, because I mean, you know, uh, it's like, that's what I'm saying, like the media thing, you know, we get all our people together and we got to do it just like, I'm not, I'm not saying just like, but I mean like, you don't have our own CNNs, our Foxes, our M MSNBCs, all that kind of crap. And then push out all these, uh, 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 if you will, DVDs and give them a name and sell them and have it in the theaters and have a political party. You know, with the talent we have, with the knowledge, especially the knowledge we have, this can easily get done, in my opinion. It can get done. Uh, you can you get do done. it right over. Do it right over these cell phones. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you a kill. Right. You know, you gotta have some young people who. It can't be no chick who got all that fake bullshit on. It can't be a brother who's all in the white grit. Can't be none of that bullshit. Right. It gotta be some cold shit. Right. And and you know, and it gotta be the way we say it is. And number two, everybody gonna want your shit. Right. Right. Everybody gonna want your shit. You know, but we don't want to share. I can't take this idea to basketball players. They'll laugh. Them niggas so dumb. You see, these motherfuckers went on a one day. These are forty million dollars a year, nigga. They went on a one day strike, and them motherfuckers <laughs> called it off. For, uh, for real, cuz. For real, cuz. I know. Tr I know brothers who make the salary of a trash man would strike longer than that. We all know some of them, don't we? Right, right. The niggas just became hoes, man. That's all it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they. I mean, I mean, come on, man. I ain't, I'm not trying to lie and bait wait bullshit. Come on, man. Right. How you got niggas that make $40 million a year go on strike for a day. Right. Shouldn't we have our own shit? Sh shouldn't we, man, you under, you see how you see it with this COVID shit, how we're under the control of these people? Right. Because I, I know Negroes on that mass shit that's uh, 
they I mean they will actually call the police on you. Neat rolls. Right. Can you believe that? I I, I think we're worse now, uh mentally, uh than we were back in the slavery days. In my opinion. I don't I don't know if you would agree with that, but I, I Yeah, I, I, I agree. Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, my sister told me today, she said, oh, you know, they started they all started opening them back to churches. <laughs> uh, I said, huh? I said and, and y'all went? She said, shit, I didn't go. She said, but they back, they back up in there having service. I'm like, oh. So you see what you're talking about doing, those people wouldn't even, wouldn't even notice it on the radar. Right. They're not looking for nothing new. They're not looking to be something else. They're not trying to turn over a new leaf. They're not trying to change with the seasons. We, what we doing now, we can't do in the summer. Right. We gotta be, we gotta be, we be, gotta be in constant motion. Right. We gotta be in constant motion doing stuff. Cause shit, oh man, damn winter, you gotta be planning for, you, you supposed to be planning for fall. You supposed to be planning for spring now. Right. True. Seriously? What you gonna do in the spring? Start planning? Right. You gotta start planning for the you gotta start for the spring now. And yeah, man, so uh yeah, just just doing our own thing and even time. What the hell are we doing celebrating damn New Year's in the middle of winter? Right. This is the dumb shit we do. Shouldn't we go along with the season? Should we celebrate New Year in spring? Right. <laughs> What's so hard about that? Because boss told me I couldn't do that. Boss didn't say do that. That's the... What percentage of Negroes you say think like that? Um, Seriously. A lot. A lot. Unfortunately, a lot. That's, that's why. Is a, is a lot. 80%. Right. right. I'll, yeah, 85. I'll say 85. Yeah, I mean... Cause that's how it is. Right. How do how do these foreigners come over here and get you to do what they wouldn't do for you in their country? Right. Any any Negro explain that to me, I'll give them a ten dollars. Explain to me how foreigners can treat you in their country in a way they wouldn't accept from you in your country and their country. Right. And am I lying? Not lying. <laughs> so we 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 playing, man. I, I seen a I seen a video, and uh, this is about maybe two months ago, and it, it, it was infuriating to me. Uh, and I think it was in Detroit, possibly, but it was this little black kid. I should say so-called black kid, a indigenous kid. And uh, he went to the store. He wanted to get uh, a Starburst, Starburst, pocket pack of Starburst. So he goes to the counter. He has the right amount of money. Well, I should say right amount. He has over the money. The air, I should say the sand nigga, <laughs> gives him the change back, but he throws it at him, you know, like aggressively, like, you know, get out of here or whatever. The little kid didn't do anything. He didn't, you know, he didn't do anything. And they, they treat us like shit, but we still go to the stores. We still trust them. We still give them business. And I, I, I don't know how crazy you can be to still deal with that. I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. You're not supposed to get it. Just like those, just like those people who won't watch your TV show, they doing something else. Dude, you you're not even you're not even on that frequency, dude. Right. You know, uh, <clears throat> what's what's one of them biblical sayings? All who can see can see, and all who can hear can hear. Right. That's what that is. Right. If you can't tell what's going on by the culture, the uh, current events. 
if you can't tell what's going on, you're fucked up. Right. This me on the hand okay. You fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 uh, and like you said, you you know, you're not supposed to understand this. I tried not to 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 like you were saying to me a little while ago too, like just don't even you know, worry about that because that's 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 a whole nother uh, hell, if you will. Um, question I want to ask you about too, um, that you're pushing a lot. What I'm noticing now is this Friedman stuff, um, and I, I, I read about it. I understand it, but in my opinion, what it's telling me or telling us is we're a descendant of somebody that's not us. And what I mean is, it's saying that we have the Siberian um, bloodline running through us, which they're still claiming is the original, but at the same time, they want to get their Indian check and all this stuff. And I'm like, they're not telling the story right. So it's another trick bag, still saying you're of African descent, came up with slave shit, and you're not the indigenous Indian. Right, because they're telling you who you are. See, you're not telling them, you don't tell them shit. Right. They tell you everything. You so fucking dumb. You can't even fucking. You don't even fucking know who your grandma was. You don't care. You don't know where she's from. Right. Huh? How the fuck Siberians get over here? Right. Which rock did they come in through the North Pole? That everything they told you was a fucking lie. Now you can believe it. Yeah, you know because that's how some that's what some of us live our lives on a lie right a lot of us man do you know uh i'm from california right and during christmas time people put cotton on their roofs right 77 degrees on christmas day motherfuckers got cotton on the all on their grass in their little bushes in the front of the house got reindeer and shit standing out in the snow a big snowman you got grown ass negroes that do this right but uh, I, you just leave them alone they can do what they want to do <laughs> that's that's how that's how that's what's saying right and you know that's what's saying Right, right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that, that's that's uh, wow. That's that's. That, that, come on, man. This. You got two hundred thousand people homeless. Right. This is what the fuck you do. This is what you do for Christmas. Right. Yeah, I was I was in L.A. Uh, uh, about a, a year ago for a week and um i'm seeing i mean i i knew what was going on because i was you know the news and reading articles and shit but when you see it you know you're seeing these big tents in front of uh starbucks in front of uh, uh louis vuitton and you know all this kind of stuff and you're like damn and then literally um a little bit down the street from my hotel i see this uh mexican woman get out her tent in the middle of the street and take a shit you know this this is what's this is what's going on and um it's it's, it's just wild and and, and and you know california and you're from there you'll let me know you know the, the 401 on that but california really got messed up with the democrats when they started bringing in the, you know the sanctuary cities and uh letting any kind of inter- immigrant come in there but someone like you and i that say you know what this is our land we're, we're, we're indigenous you know, how dare y'all give them more of this shit and they ain't even done nothing here legally. It's like, you know, California, you know, cause I hear some black folks want to move there. That shit really ain't for us no more. You know, you, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, in 1970, Doris Davis was the first black democratic mayor in Compton, California. And I'm sure you heard of the city of Compton. Oh yeah. Doris Davis 
was married to my mother's older brother, okay. who was a dentist at the time. The time Doris Davis was mayor of Los Angeles, Compton was 90% black. And, the, and I was a kid growing up. I didn't live in Compton. I lived, I, I lived a few blocks, not a few blocks, but a few little cities over. Okay. You know, you got, you got Hawthorne, Athens. It's broken off. You know, cities are broken off into little sections. Yeah, Watts. Yeah, yeah. Watts. Watts was, I was closer to Watts than Compton. Watts then Compton. It went like that. Okay. Today, 2020, so that's 50 years. Right. 2020, Compton is 90% Latino. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Surrounded by Asians over in Torrance. The white boys up in the mountains, Asians in them all down the freeways. I, it's about six niggas, and I had a I had a cousin that went to jail. He went to jail. He just got on two thousand. What's that? Two thousand twelve, two thousand ten. He was in jail for twenty years. Right. When he got out of jail, you know the first thing he said to me. He was a damn. This is Mexico now. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He said, what the fuck happened? I said, you niggas wanted to kill up each other and, you know, sell dope and, you know. Right. Where, where, where were you? Right. We, we haven't spoke since. Right. He said, dude, what happened? This is where we are, dude. This is this is what and 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 uh, I, I was born and raised in Los Angeles. Right. Beautiful place. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Could be could be the coolest place in the world, man. Right. All you need is that beach, a clean beach. Right. And it's all. It's 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 for so-called Negroes, African Americans. It's real shitty, and like you said, the woman sitting in the street. That's that that that. How many times that go on a day in LA? Right. <laughs> you know, because I, I heard about it, I read about it, but when you see it, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in my my, my in, in the Uber or whatever. And I'm looking at the window. I'm like, is she really? And then you see it, and you're like, damn, this this is this something here. <laughs> yeah, man. Because I, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge, like I was telling you before, I'm a huge West Coast hip hop rap fan. So I know a little bit about the history of California and whatnot. And I look at the culture and all the stuff so-called black people have done there, and that being their land is number one. And you look at today, it's like uh, I don't know. I, I, it frustrates me because I know, you know, I, you know, I'm an auto engineer, so I, you know, that's one of the mecca places we go to do business and, and, and work with artists and whatnot. But it's like, you know, now the voice of hip hop, a voice of whatever is, is white people. It's about to be Hispanics now. They're pushing the whole Asian thing. Um, and you know what's crazy to me with the Asian thing, correct me if I'm wrong, like there's some Asian gangs out there that are basically black gangs. And so what I'm saying is like, a dude, dude, dude I knew out there was like, yeah, you got some, you got a, you got a whole set of an Asian gang that's nothing but Crips. I'm like, how did that happen? You know, could I go to Japan and be, um, you know, part of their mafia, whatever? No, the Japanese would not allow any black motherfucker in their gang at all, or even claim, you know, the title. Of it. And I'm like, this, this is, I don't know, this is crazy. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. Niggas are bitches. Yeah. You let everybody, you let, it, you know, if you, you don't care, come on. Call them, see, because I'm saying it, motherfuckers get mad. But but this this is what you do. 
This is what you do. Right. Imagine a sister sitting at home thinking, this bitch comes from India. My grandmama sent my mama to school to be a whatever Greek motherfucker. Now I'm one. Now this motherfucker's in front of us. Right. <laughs> how did how did we you but you let it happen. Right. You 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 were the tool used to uh introduce her to the world. Right. Like you always are. But you're mad at me for saying it. Right. And you better get out of that shit for real. And it's like you see, you see, and, and, and this how bad it's, it's how bad it's gotten. You 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 you've seen this. Uh, you you you've been hearing about this brother Ice Cube, right? Yes. This cat did a shit. So you know another way you can hone your craft is look at us and look at some of these other people who were doing interviews and stuff. They got some shit in the mainstream. Right. Did you see the interview he did with these four chicks? You talking about the one with uh, Vivica Fox and all them? Yeah. I just saw a snippet. I didn't see all of it, so I, I don't, you know, I don't Dude, know. dude, dude, none of them sisters, look at, look at them sisters. Next next time you watch that, look how them sisters are made up. They got the weave on and all that? Dude, they, they buck wild, dude. <laughs> Oh. Man, I even I I even saw your boy Boyce Watkins the other day. He didn't even look like himself no more. Right, right. You look like you get cloned or something. I saw. Right. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Talks different. And everything. I'm like, did they clone him? What, what's 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 going on here? What the hell is going on? Right. So yeah, man, it's um. Uh, what the fancy election coming up? Right. In a couple of weeks. Right. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't. You know, I don't. I don't do that. <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't know why. Why we? They, just, they got us on a leash, man. Right. They're, you're following laws that were implemented 200 years ago. It hasn't worked for you up until this point, and you still want to keep going down that road? Right. Explain. Like being slaves, that's, that's, well, I mean, I mean, seriously, dude. If the people who was here in 1850 could see the people in, who in 2020, what would they say? Uh, they would they'd probably slap the shit out of them. Not even what even say. They just slap the hell, dude. Because you know they talk about oh well if you don't vote you're disrespecting your ancestors you know they died for your vote you know or, or this thing is vote or die you know that's just the fear vote or die check this out so the next time you hear somebody say that say when did you come up with that because remember they're just repeating what they've heard the average Negro never had an uh, original thought in his life ever. The average Negro that's walking the street now will go to his deathbed, never had any original thought in his life. Mm. More than half. Right. They only do what they're told to do. That's it. Nigga, we need you to go out and riot. Okay, boss. <laughs> Nigga, I need you to take your guns and go up on that hill in Georgia and you stand there and you wait for my command. Yes, boss. Right or wrong? Right. 100% correct. Yeah, I, 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 I you, you know it's gotta be some, um, not some, but it's definitely uh, somebody's controlling them because you would think after 200 years or just even now looking at all this shit going on no none of these uh, mainstream celebrities are talking about our own party and uh, you know if I had the voice I definitely would get people like yourself and other people along to build our own stuff because um, you know 
I mean, they're, they're, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get started now. Yeah. What What I need to be. What I need. To, I'll answer phones. I'll do whatever. Right. What I'll 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 go out and talk to people. I'll go out and pass out uh uh little buttons. We doing a uh, indigenous people's part. I mean, whatever whatever the group comes up with, I don't care. I'm just using names because I'm you know. But whatever, let's go. Right. You know, and you know, and um, I don't know, man. It's just you can't the uh, the women. They not even women no more, man. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, dude. That's the saddest shit, man. Right. Sisters are trying to be celebrities, baby, but we need this done. Maybe, I, maybe I get it. I got to get my titties done, boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I guess I, I know. I, I, I made I made a post. Um, uh, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, whatever. And I had somebody message me, DM me. And it only got, again, I don't have a lot of followers and stuff like that. You know, I say what I want, what's on my mind. And I say what I feel like people ain't saying. But um, I basically say, you know, if you're claiming to be an indigenous uh, female and you got uh, a European weave in your head, you know, you're a disgrace. That's what I say, you're disrespecting the whole whatever. Um, and then basically, you know, it was the same thing you hear in the Afrocentric community. It's like, well, we used to wear weaves and all this kind of stuff and, and, and stuff. And I'm like, that's not true. You have a white woman's or European or a East Indian or Asian woman's hair on your head. You know, what if I had tied or a white person's hair on my head uh, every day? You would look at me like I was fucking crazy. And what do they say? They don't say anything right. because you're telling the truth. Right. And that's and that's one thing with us. We're not we're not we don't we're not particularly fond of the of the truth. No, no. You know, I'm not I'm not a perfect person. <laughs> I claim to be a perfect man, nothing like that. But I do know I'm not I'm not going to be supporting people that don't give a shit about me. I know that, and I'm not going to have a white person's uh, hair. On my head. Yeah. No, you're just trying. You're just trying to be a better person in every in every aspect of life. Right. Uh, that's that's what you're trying to do. You know, living here, you only here for a minute, man. Shit. Right. I, <clears throat> my grandfather died when he was 108, and he was about 100. And I asked him, "You lived 100 years. If you could have anything." that you wanted, anything in the world that you wanted that you never had, what would it be? You know what he said? What's that? More time. Hmm. I was like, damn. He said, it go like that. Right. So, you know, we're not, you know, well, we might think it's a long time because we're in this body moving around. In actuality, when you look at that tree that's in your yard that tree probably been there 200 years right you know right. yeah that's 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 a that's, that's pure reality as they say wow um, you know and I, I you know just look at the 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 hair industry in general the money that's spent to the Koreans or to the Asians or to the Chinese, you know, I think they said it's it's worth um, five billion or something like that. And I'm like, five billion a week. Right, 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 right. Yeah, it's it's um, I, and that money could be in this community, either doing their own hair or, or our own political party, our own media, our own whatever. But so how you gonna get it? So I, I mean, seriously, seriously, how you gonna how you gonna get the money? Cause you take, take take that five billion that you're getting seriously for hair weave, and I think that should be a campaign started to do that shit. Right. We need our own political party. We need the money that you motherfuckers spend, spend on that weave to put it in the political party. Right. That's that's it. Right. And you probably won't get it all, but you will get some. Right. And then we get the money from them Negroes that's buying them Jordans. Uh, 
buying all that other stuff. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it'd be, yeah, you start hitting, you start hitting these niggas up. Yeah. Say, yo, nigga, you in this fucking gas station buying all that shit. Why don't you come drop 10 with the like a political party? Right. Oh, man, yeah, you right here. No, nah, it ain't no Democrat and Republic. It's us, our own party. Right. Start, and, and that's how you that's how you sign people up. I'm with it. Right. Yeah, that's that's something I'm going to be um, putting out there. Um, you got college kids now. They damn sure be with it. Right. That's where you start. All the black colleges. How many black colleges we got down south? We get a group. Let's say we get a group of 200 of us and we motherfucking divide and go down to black colleges on whatever week of, you know, boom. Right. Shit, the week of the election. Right. We're forming a new political party. This shit don't work. Right. And give out, boom, do a website and whatever. It's and I would sit, like I said, I would sit down with uh, yourself, you know, the founding mothers and fathers of this, because I personally, you know, I don't want to. Um, this is how I think. I don't want to disrespect nothing like that. I definitely would want to include the, the term indigenous, but I would want us to get together. If we could agree where we're gonna name this party. And I just wouldn't say, oh, this is it, because you know, whatever. I, I would, I would want to go to y'all and put our heads together and come up with it, you know? Dude, let me tell you something. This is yours, just like it's mine. I didn't, I didn't make it. This was just some shit I was born into, just like you, whatever you have to add pitch in right this is not mine this is not yours this is not theirs we are a, uh, we are a, a nation of people who are on this last legs need to get the fuck up right we in here playing we in, we, we playing dude right being mad at me for what and and this, they just be mad at you because life is kicking them in the ass. See the stuff that you and me see, it's showing the people. It, it didn't take it didn't take a lot for you to you know nobody didn't have to beat this shit into your head. Right. All you had to do was think. Right. Damn. Why am I why am I thinking why am I looking at Africa and standing right here? Right. <laughs> right. Some people don't, I mean, they can't do that. And they still go for those, uh, what you call them, those DNA ancestry swabbing of the cheek thing. Because uh, I was talking to a uh, chick about that. And, uh, you know, I was talking to her about, you know, us being uh, indigenous and all that. And it was like, uh, I don't even know what it was like. It was just basically if certain people don't talk about it and she was a you know college educated type like myself or whatever but it was like you couldn't break the barrier of what somebody white said if somebody white said it it might be more believable possibly mm. so you know it, it's interesting but I, I i and then the dna people they tell you out, out outwardly they say this stuff is basically entertainment it's not real and they say it, 